I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on Data Engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to talk about how to pad values either from the left side or from the right side for those things like employee numbers that might need to have some zeros in front or any other kind of time that you might want to pad your values. Now, this is definitely a skill that you want to master if you're starting to build applications in Microsoft Access because it will come up with your customers or projects that you're working on, and it's super handy. Let's get to it. Looking for more resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so this is a problem that has been around in Access for years and years, and uh, we're gonna solve it today. So here's this file that I'm using. You can download it from my download site. Make sure to check for the link for that one. And I have this one table here, and you can imagine that, you know, uh, you had some columns in your table. You've got your company, employee, date, work, billable hours, and maybe a work code or something. And then you've got this column here that maybe was imported or something. Uh, but that's not the employee number. The employee number is actually, you know, a bunch of zeros and then two, which is the proper employee. And somewhere along the line, uh, the data got you know, removed or transformed or changed, and we want to fix that by being able to pad our values with zeros. So we'll start with that one. We'll go to the Create ribbon and choose Module, and then we can resize our Module window here. And uh, we're going to start off by using this Immediate window here. This is where we can run some commands in VBA, and if you don't see it immediately, you can go to the View menu, or you can use Control G, and that'll pull up the immediate window for you to use. And you can just put your cursor inside. Make sure to check out my video on the immediate window if you're interested in how the immediate window works uh, in more cases than what we're going to show today. Uh, you can check out that video. But if I put in a question mark and I say one, two, three, it's sort of like saying print one, two, three, or give me the return value of one, two, three. Uh, and print that and that's what we're going to get there. So I can use the immediate window to test out some functions. And so I might test out a function uh, like you see here with the right string. So the right uh, function gives us the uh, values that are on the right side of a string. And I'll put in the uh, say five zeros and one two three and that's going to give me zero zero one two three and this is an old trick that people have used for years and years where you just sort of concatenate a string uh, together and use the left or right uh, functions in order to give you some padding and in the simplest sense this is the easiest way to do it is just to use the left and right and you can plug your you know, five zeros in a row there, along with the value that you want to pad, and you can get a nice outcome from that. But, you know, if you want to do something a bit more sort of flexible and general use, you can use the string function. And the string function will give you a string of the length that you desire with the character that you desire, uh, just by using it like I show here where we've got string 16 and 0. So I'll do the same kind of operation that we did in our first write statement, except this time I'll do a bit longer of a padding and we'll work on a 16 uh, character string. And so we'll get the right 16 characters of the concatenation of 16 zeros with 1, 2, 3. And that'll give us the left padded uh, value that you see there with all of those zeros and one two three on the end and of course we can do the same thing for our right padded string by using the left 16 characters of our concatenation of some value in this case one two three with uh, you know a string of 16 zeros and that's going to give us that uh, one two three with uh, uh, 13 zeros after it and so the immediate window has given us a nice test of this functionality and we have a more flexible version that we can use to put into a function. And so in our function here, uh, we can call our function left pad or something like that. We'll use that function keyword there and we'll go function left pad and we're going to pass in the text that we want to pad. So we'll put that in as a string and we'll put in the uh, the pad character, so we'll say pad width. 
Now you could actually pad with multiple characters if you want, uh, but in this case we're going to pad with uh, a single character. And then the length of the string that we want uh, to have output as a whole. And so this is going to allow us to use a function and we're going to call that left pad and we've got our text going in. That text is a string. We're passing in a character which is also a string and then the length of the padding that we want to have or the length of the entire sort of output and that is also going to be a string and so we're going to return a string uh, from this function and so we're going to pass in two strings and a length as a long integer and get back a string and so I'll put a little comment at the top here and then we can just go ahead and create our little function and we can uh, give ourselves a return value so I'm going to dim a str return there uh, as string and then I will uh, give the value of the function at the very end of the function I'm going to make the value of that equal to the return string and so all we have to do now is set the value for that uh, return string and we can do that using the same syntax that we used in the immediate window below and just like we did there we're going to use the write function in VBA uh, in order to return a left padded string and we'll put our string in there except now we're going to use that dynamic length so we're going to pass in whatever length we pass into the function and whatever character we pad in, you know, are going to pad with and then we'll use the text that we're passing into the function and we're going to use that length twice so we're going to use it once there we're going to use it once there uh, because we're going to pad with that length just in case they pass in a zero length string then we're going to pass back all zeros for example and and that's why we're going to use that in two places so we'll hit save on that save that as mod pad and we are good to go so we've created our function so now we, we can use the same uh, technique that we did with uh, the previous ones except now we can use our own function in the immediate window and you can do a debug compile just like I did there to check if you have any crazy errors in your code it'll tell you right away so now we can just go hey left pad you know this string one two three or number or whatever with zeros and make it ten ten a length of ten and there you go so we've got uh, we've got seven zeros and one two three it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there and that is exactly what we want to see and so uh, that's our left pad function of course we also want to have a right pad function and we can do that as well uh, using the same arguments and we'll we'll do our text argument uh, str text as string we'll do our pad width we're going to pad with zeros or pad with x's or pad with whatever uh, and then we're going to use that length um, variable as well that's a long integer and we're going to pass back a string from this function or return a string just like we did for the left pad function and so returns a right padded string that'll be our comment there and we'll do kind of the same thing as we did for the previous function we'll return we'll create a variable for a return value and then we're, we will return that uh, variable uh, as the value of the function at the very end of our function and so we'll say write pad equals str return and so then we can move on and we can do our our sort of uh, creation of the value here and we can do str return equals left and then we'll put in our text kind of like we did before we're going to concatenate our text with the uh, string of you know whatever we put in it's going to be you know say 10 characters and make those zeros so we'll put the pad width and of course we'll use that length variable once again and uh, we are good to go so let's try that out in the immediate window just like we did for our other function we can just take our cursor and put it down into the immediate window we can put that question mark in there and we can say right pad uh, one two three and we'll put zeros as the padding and make it 10 characters long 
and there we go there's the output that we want to see uh, absolutely fantastic that's what we want and it'll actually work fairly quickly too and we can do all kinds of things like we can put in a character string if we want and we can pad that with you know some other character like an X and make that 15 characters long and so you can see how this is very flexible and because it's a function uh, we can use this in other places in our application so we can use it in our queries or our controls our text controls on forms or in reports you can use this all throughout your application and it will be very very handy you can even put in something like pad with 200 G's and you're good to go <laughs> and so that's a great demonstration of our functionality you can see we've got our big long string there our left pad worked with 200 uh, characters for padding and that is fantastic so now we can go back to our you know our work hours table remember that one it had the column with the employee number in it and the, but the number had been converted to an actual integer instead of a, a proper string and so we can go ahead and convert that to a value that makes sense to us so I'll double click on the star in the query window here on that table and that'll give me all the fields in that table as as output <clears throat> and I'll add one more field to our output and I'll call it EE number and I'll use our left pad function so I'll say EE number colon and I'll use left pad and then we're going to put in the employee uh, value there so whatever's in that employee field that that's the numeric uh, ID that you saw there and we will pad with zero so we'll put in zero and then we'll make that one eight characters long so this company uses an eight character padded number for their employees and for that company that is what a proper employee number looks like and so there's our EE number taking that employee value with our left pad function and padding it with zeros up to eight characters and that's what we want to see there so we'll save this query as query with EE number and that will be a nice little query that shows our table except with the proper employee number on it uh, and let's take a look at that so it looks like we're good to go there is our employee 2 and there is our EE number with seven zeros and a 2 and employee number 1 with seven zeros and a 1 etc etc there's employee 3 and so on and so that's what we want to see that's how you can left pad and right pad your values in access. If you want to stop RDP spammers from filling up your security log, make sure to check out the additional links in the description.